The distributive property states that if I have three numbers or variables, in this case, let's call them A, B, and C. A is being multiplied by the addition of B plus C. Then I can distribute that A among the two terms that are being added, and it becomes A multiplied by B plus A multiplied by C. In this video, I will show how to get from this side of the equation to this side of the equation and we will substitute numbers inside of this equation to see if really this equals this. Here we see how the distributive property is developed. A gets multiplied by B and goes to the other side of the equation, then I have to add to that A multiplied by C. Now let's do an example with the substitution of numbers to see if what we have on this side at the end equals what we have on this side of the equation. A will be equal to 2, B will be equal, will be equal to 4, and C will be equal to 6. Here we have substituted the values a multiplied by b plus c becomes 2 multiplied by 4 plus 6. That equals ab, which now is 2 times 4, and ac, which now is 2 times 6. Now 2 multiplied by 4 plus 6 becomes 2 times 10. 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 6 is 12. I have 2 multiplied by 10, equals a plus 12. Now 2 multiplied by 10 is easy, that is 20, and 8 plus 12 is also 20. So we have shown here that no matter which method you want to use, you can first add a, you can, f you can first add b plus c and then multiply that with a, or you can just multiply a times b and add a plus c the result is going to be the same on both sides of the equation. The distributive property is correct in this form. Now what happens if I have subtraction? Now I have A multiplied by B minus C. Well, it's very similar. I just subtract on the other side of the equation. It becomes A times B minus A times C. Let's substitute the, sec the same values that we did before. Perform the, the same exercise, but now we're subtracting and let's see if we can get the same result from a times b minus c than we have we than we than we that we have with a times b minus a times c here we see the substitution of values up to now everything is the same but we have a negative sign or a minus sign on both sides of the equation now 4 minus 6 becomes negative 2. This was being, uh, was being added on the previous example, and it was 10. Now we have 2 multiplied by negative 2, and in the previous example we had a plus 8 plus 12. Now we have 8 minus 12. And here we see that the end result is the same. 2 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 4, and 8 minus 12 is also negative 4. So if we have subtraction, this is the form that we have to use. A multiplied by B minus C will be equal to A times B minus A times C. Now, the distributed property can be applied to more than two terms inside of the parentheses. For example, if I have A multiplied by B minus C plus D, I just distribute the a, um, the a among each one of the terms inside of the parentheses. I have a times b. This is positive because b is positive. I have negative or minus a times c because the c is negative. If the d were negative, if the d was negative, this would be minus a times d, but the d is positive. And if I have more terms, I just distribute the a among the terms and the sign of addition or subtraction will be dependent of if the term is positive or is negative. So in summary, 
the distributive property states that if I have a number or a variable being multiplied by the addition of two other numbers or variables, I can distribute, in this case, the A among the terms that are inside of the parentheses that are being added. If I have A multiplied by B plus C, that equals A times B plus A times C. Now, if one of the terms is negative or is being subtracted, then I have to change the other side of the equation and it becomes A times B minus A times C. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you found this useful, please subscribe, tell a friend, and don't forget to check some of my other videos and the playlist. Once again, thank you and see you on the next video.